Hello guys, how are you doing? This is Shitanshu again from Dream Abroad. In this video, I wanted to talk about the foreign exchange rate and its impact on your application for Canadian permanent residency. Okay, so talking about the foreign exchange rate, you must have heard about the US dollar getting strengthened in the past few months. It went up to rupees 73 last week. Now it is around 72. But what does it actually mean to you in terms of the Canadian PR application? Because Canadian dollar has also got a lot stronger. If we check at the you know, currency chart, we can see that in the month of March, it was less than 55 rupees. In the start of April, it was around 50.5. Now it is actually more than 55 which is actually a 10% uh, hike in the, a 10% rise in the um, foreign exchange for Canadian dollar to Indian rupees. Now, this will definitely impact you because you're going to make your payments for ECA and uh, your Canadian um, PR application in Canadian dollars only. So definitely you'll have to pay 10% more in comparison to what you, you, what people used to pay, you know, around three or four months back now but I mean th this is not still a very big difference it's just a 10% uh, you know mark it does matter a lot for some people but what where will it actually impact you is proof of funds we know that we have to show a lot of money to you know as a proof of funds which we are going to use in Canada in the time of our settlement in initial days right Okay, so for proof of funds, this is the exact amount which you should have in your accounts. So please convert it in your respective currencies. This is in Canadian dollars. If you are a single uh, applicant in that case, you need around 12.5 thousand Canadian dollars. If you are applying with your spouse in that case, you need around 15.5 thousand Canadian dollars. If you are applying with your kid as well in that case, you need around 19 thousand Canadian dollars and so on. So if you belong to India. I've made a matrix over here in the month of April at the rate of 15, 50.5 uh, rupees for the foreign exchange rate. Uh, you need to have around uh, 6 lakh 30 thousand rupees, but now it is 10% more, which is around 7 lakh rupees. In the month of uh, April, you need if you were you know two people. You and your spouse, you need to have around 7,85,000 rupees, but now you need to have 8,62,000 rupees. In the month of April, again, if you were three people, you need to have around 9,65,000 rupees, but now you need to have one lakh more, around 10,60,000 rupees. And there are predictions that this, this ex exchange rate, US dollar and Canadian dollars, these all currencies will get stronger in the coming uh, few weeks. So this may rise even more. So what does this mean to you actually? This means that you should definitely have more amount in your account for proof of funds. Okay, now those people who have actually submitted their application already, they've submitted the uh, bank letter, they need not worry about it, but still be cautious have your amount, you know, have that much amount somewhere uh, in the other account or wherever you have because if there's, you know, any confusion with the, um, with the proof of funds, the investigating officer might come back to you but now the foreign exchange rate has got a lot, you know, uh, this big difference in the foreign exchange rate as we talked about. So please be cautious, all the new applicants who are applying for uh, the proof of funds, please be cautious, you need to have this much amount um, for your proof of funds all the people watching you know who are not there in India who are not dealing in Indian rupees please check your uh, foreign exchange rate for your country if it there's a difference please have that much amount so thank you for watching this video I just want to make this video to aware you guys about the uh, about the massive difference in the uh, foreign exchange rate and the effects it will have in your application so thank you for watching this video Please do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet yet.